Not one conference is happy, it seems, after week one of the season. Sure, everybody has things, specific things, to be happy about, specific teams that performed well. But for all four power conferences, week one was a mixed bag. And let's start with the ACC. Nobody had higher highs and lower lows than the Atlantic Coast Conference did. The highs are pretty obvious. Miami looks like a college football playoff contender. Crushed Florida in the swamp. North Carolina on that first Thursday, week one, a few days ago, survived at Minnesota. Survive! Winning on the road against a power conference opponent, ACC versus Big Ten. The lows... Virginia Tech lost to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt. (laughs) No, I don't care about their transfer quarterback. Oh, how good was he in conference? U.S. Vanderbilt. You're supposed to be an ACC contender, Virginia Tech. Vanderbilt. Georgia drubbed Clemson. 34-3. to Yikes. But, again, not all bad. Notre Dame, their win at AM. Notre Dame, not in the ACC in football, of course, but their win helps the ACC's scheduling metrics. Not a small thing. Keeps Texas AM at bay as well. Connor Wegman, whoo, he didn't look good. Riley Leonard did look the part transferring from Duke in that Mike Elko versus Riley Leonard showdown. Getting to the SEC, they had a tough time this weekend. There were four. Network TV spotlight windows this weekend. We talked about it going into the week. Four of them. Georgia Clemson, Miami, Florida, Texas A&M, Notre Dame, and then last night in Vegas, LSU facing USC. The Southeastern Conference went one and three in those four. It just means more. Except in the biggest games when you go one and three and Two of those home losses by double digits for Florida and Texas A&M. LSU closed the weekend, blowing a lead against Lincoln Riley and USC. But at least they have Georgia. That is the best team in the country. Not a surprise. It's hard to imagine anybody coming close to what Georgia presents. But the SEC had a tough time this weekend. Looking at the other two power conferences, the Big 12, the Big 10, lukewarm weekends. Barely can call the Big 12 a power conference. Are you really a power conference when you don't have a team that can win a national championship? Who is anybody convinced from that conference that can win a national championship? For all the hand-wringing about, oh, the ACC is not elite, and Clemson's won two national titles in the last 10 years. Florida State certainly can win a national championship. Miami has the resources to do it. Name one Big 12 team that you think could win a championship. You get to the playoff and you can win three or four, however many it requires this year, in order to win a national championship. Don't see that with Utah. Don't see it with Oklahoma State. So we'll call them a power conference. But the Big 12 did not have any good wins. None. They had one spotlight game, big noon Saturday, was at Penn State or at West Virginia, and West Virginia lost to Penn State convincingly. They had Houston played UNLV at Houston, and Houston lost at home by 20 to UNLV. Yet, Brett Yormark, our conference has never been deeper without Texas and Oklahoma. Got it. Other than Penn State's win at West Virginia, the Big Ten, they didn't play anybody. Nobody schedules worse, worse at a conference than the Big Ten does. Oregon struggled with Idaho. Shout out to the Vandals and Jordan Gross and Potatoes. UCLA struggled against Hawaii. Michigan State labored against Florida Atlantic on Friday night. Michigan in the fourth quarter, that was a game too. And they seem to have some problems at quarterback trying to replace J.J. McCarthy. Not one conference among the power leagues are happy after week one of the college football season. It was a mixed bag for everyone, yet you'll still hear the Paul Feinbaums of the world. You'll still hear Paul! 
The national media folks, they'll tell you that, oh, this weekend was so much worse for the ACC than everybody else. And, oh, the Big Ten's so great. Okay, well, can you impress? Penn State did. But then again, last year, Penn State blew out West Virginia too. And did that help Penn State at all? The Big 12, who can win a championship from that conference? Nobody. Yet we got to entertain that and take it serious. And the ACC have to receive all these arrows their way. That's just how it works.